In some of the world's poorest nations, accessing health care is a struggle. Making well-informed decisions can determine if people live or die. Over the coming years, a new project will try to revolutionise the way health policy is made in Africa. At Yayunde's central hospital, Sado visits his daughter and new grandson. Three weeks ago, Sylvie underwent an emergency caesarean. But although she and her baby are perfectly healthy, they can't leave the hospital. Sado is a taxi driver who's struggling to pay his daughter's unexpected delivery costs. We keep them here because if we allow them to go, then some other time another person will come in and we don't have any means to treat that person. Now when you are well, we expect you to pay back all this that we've given to you. Bonjour, madame. Today, Sado is trying to have his daughter's hospital bill reduced. He's lucky the hospital has agreed to a 20% discount. Many people struggle to pay for health care in Cameroon. 48% of the population lives below the poverty line. There's no universal health care system and less than 1% of the population has any form of health insurance. Most of Cameroon's health care is financed by the sick, even in cases of emergency. Close to 95% of health expenditure in Cameroon are mainly out-of-pocket spending at the point of delivery when people are sick. Aujourd'hui, je lui ai la vie parce que il ne marche pas. J'ai donné le café, le pain, il a mangé. Après, il m'a dit que ma tête est chauffe, ma tête me fait mal, ma tête me fait mal. Hilda's sister has a suspected brain tumour. She will get treated. The hospital doesn't turn away emergency cases. But the family have already gone into debt just to pay for a brain scan, let alone treatment. On n'a pas l'argent. Parce que l'autre que nous avons prêté 700 000 pour aller faire IRMP, je vous dis là, on n'a pas encore remboursé. Even those who are not that poor, they will have to postpone uh, their, their need of care because they don't have the money at that particular point in time. And uh, in some family, people will uh, postpone the registration at school for some of the children uh, to pay first for their health. So it's like people have to make a trade-off uh, between assisting care and other a priority basic needs that they have. La mutuelle s'est constituée en bureau ambulant pour venir vers les bénéficiaires, vers les populations. In the provincial town of Saar, David Mbebe touts for business. Business is health insurance. David chairs Saar's Health Mutual, a local health insurance association that helps members cover the cost of their health care. For a small annual fee, mutual members pay only a fraction of the cost of their hospital bills and doctor's consultations. Et cette prise en charge est au niveau même de la radiologie, de la radiologie au niveau du laboratoire et jusqu'au niveau de la chirurgie. Les accouchements également, la mutuelle prend en charge à 115%. Et aussi la mutuelle a envolé. La mutuelle prend en charge les personnes vivant avec le VH. Dès que ces personnes adhèrent à la mutuelle, ils ont une prise en charge à 100%. Despite the financial benefits, the SAR Health Mutual is struggling to sign up new members. When the mutual was launched in 2005, it was a big success with over 13,000 members. 
but the local hospital they contracted to provide services couldn't deliver, and membership plummeted. La relation était au niveau de des prestations, particulièrement dans le service de la pharmacie, parce que la pharmacie connaissait des ruptures permanentes en médicaments. Alors, le mutualiste trouvait cela très mal d'aller faire payer ces médicaments à l'officine privée de la ville qui coûte extrêmement cher. The Cameroon government hopes to get 40% of the population signed up to a health mutual and to establish mutuals in each of the 172 health districts. La colonne, c est, c est la colonne But they're a long way from achieving that. Close to one third of the health districts still don't have any community-based health insurance uh, organization. Up to now, it's just about 2% of uh, coverage. So the willing, the political will is there to promote the community health insurance, but the communities or the population is still reluctant. There is a sort of distrust or insufficient knowledge about what are the advantages of this type of uh, uh, risk-sharing mechanism. Catherine was initially reluctant to join SARS Mutual. She used to belong to a health mutual, but the organisation collapsed, taking her small savings with it. We are trying to understand why people are reluctant to enrol in this type of organisation. And this is why health financing was recognised as a priority for the uh, SHOP project in Cameroon. Shaw supports the use of research evidence to better inform decisions about Africa's health systems. The project will collaborate with and strengthen existing networks now working in Africa. The objective is not just improving community-based health insurance, but it's also having a clear understanding of the level of freedom that the government could have to create a tax-based uh, health insurance system. In Cameroon, the first priority of the Shaw project is to help find better, more equitable and rational ways to finance health care. If there was a greater rationality in the way these resources are used, certainly the health status will improve and access to health care will also improve. One focus of the Shaw project will be to collect evidence on Cameroon's traditional jungi. These are community associations based on family, village or tribal groupings and they're widespread throughout the country. They may hold the key to establishing effective community-based health insurance schemes in Cameroon. Members pay a weekly contribution to the jungi in order to access small payments or loans in times of need. The people of this jungi all originally came from the Mifi region. They now live in the same neighbourhood in the capital Yaoundé. This is key to the success of a junkie. Everyone knows each other and they know where the money goes. Because they are sure that they have a glance on the way their money is being managed. It is not too far from them. Because when it goes uh, too far from them, they don't have any information. If we can collect information on those informal basic organizations which are working well, maybe to know the amount of money they are generating, uh, and particularly that, uh, the, the amount that can be orientated to the financing of health sector. Maybe this can also be one factor to sensitize the decision makers. <laughs> Priority for each jungi varies. Some, like this one, provide funds for entertainment. Others pay for education or community centres. Most provide funding for emergencies. That is why we created this cultural association to help so that when our people are sick, when members are sick, when members die, we help, we use the money to help them, what we contribute. 
the limitations is uh, that uh, they are not really well organized to share the risk of uh, uh, disease, as we said. Uh, they, they, they put away an amount of money that can be used if one member is sick. We think that uh, if uh, the government can succeed to organize the way of using that money, which is being put aside by each uh, community organization, this will be a very great contribution to the financing of health sector in our country. Over the coming years, researchers and policymakers will work together to find better ways to finance health care in Cameroon and improve the country's health system. If we can be sure that some of the decisions to be taken in the five years to come have been informed by the evidence synthesis produced by the SOAR project, then this will be great. The hope is to develop solutions to Cameroon's health financing crisis that will make a real difference to people's lives. If uh, in five year time, no one have to pay uh, more than 5% uh, of the overall cost of his health at the point of care, if this is achieved, and I will be just, you know, I could then sign my t testimony and die, that would be great. <laughs>